Good morning. Today's majority opinion in the Perry case, written by Justice Roberts and joined, Chief Justice Roberts and joined by four other justices, held that the U.S. Constitution's Article III, which governs the federal judiciary, limits standing to appeal a district court judgment solely to parties that suffer a distinct and palpable injury. And the ruling leaves intact a decision by U.S. District Court Judge Vaughn Walker that the 2008 ballot measure that eliminated fundamental marriage rights for same-sex partners in California violated the United States Constitution. I am grateful for a decision that finally ends marriage discrimination against gay and lesbian couples and that strikes down a law that has no place in 21st century California. But given the arguments that Proposition 8's proponents have consistently advanced, my office is prepared to litigate immediately against any effort to limit or delay the rest restoration of marriage equality for all Californians. Today's ruling <clears throat> is another brick in the cause of equality that we've been fighting for here in San Francisco over the course of the last nine years. And we've been honored to have stood alongside a number of, um, of, uh, of equally committed parties. The American Foundation for Equal Rights, working with the plaintiffs in this case, as represented uh, by Cleve Jones, who we're happy to have with us, and led by Te uh, uh, Ted Olson and David Boyes, did an absolutely wonderful job working alongside Terry Stewart from my office and our entire, entire legal team here in the city attorney's office. It's been a long battle. The marriage equality movement started in Massachusetts, but took off here with the Summer of Love in 2004 when Gavin Newsom instructed our clerk to issue uh, uh, marriage licenses to same-sex couples. It's been a long struggle both in the state courts and the federal courts. We are glad that once again we will have marriage equality here in the state of California. So with that, I'm happy to take any questions that any members of the media have. Thanks very much. actually did a very, very quick search of the opinion, and there was nothing that indicated uh, that the, uh, they would limit the scope of the, of the injunction. And I would just say that if you go back and look at the district uh, court's opinion, Judge Walker was uh, very clear when he talked about the scope of the injunction. First of all, San Francisco was a party, so we're bound by the scope of that injunction. And he was also very clear to say that uh, all county officials, recorders, and clerks operating under uh, the authority of state law for purposes of marriage laws or under the state registrar were bound by the terms of the injunction. And I think if you go back and look at the Lockyer case from 2008, Lockyer versus City and County of San Francisco, the California Supreme Court made it quite clear that county clerks and recorders for purposes of, of, of enforcing marriage laws operate under the authority of the state. So uh, I think it's pretty clear that this injunction applies statewide, and we saw nothing in the Supreme Court's opinion from our quick look this morning that would indicate that it was limited in any way. They will not. They will not. Under uh, uh, Supreme Court rules, they will have about 25 days to file a petition uh, for rehearing. Then it'll take a couple of days after that. To, uh, for the Ninth Circuit to issue uh, its mandate. So we would anticipate that it would probably be about a month or so before uh, licenses could be issued. Any other questions? It's a tremendous victory. Uh, we've been fighting this battle for nine years, and uh, we argued in this case early on that the uh, proponents had no standing. Uh, and this restores marriage equality here to California. We will now join uh, 12 other states in the District of Columbia. It's a movement. <coughs> and the Supreme Court made clear today that uh, we'll, it, we'll have marriage equality restored in California. And that is great for thousands and thousands of California families who just want to exercise their fundamental right to marry. So we're incredibly gratified by the ruling today. And we look forward to seeing marriages occur here in California very, very shortly. Yeah, and I, we should also just point out that uh, we got a great ruling in the Doma case today, so it was really a wonderful uh, 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 day for the cause of equality. 
marriage equality. So uh, we look forward to celebrating today and uh, looking forward to ha making sure that uh, marriages are restored here in California fairly quickly and that we continue this battle. We continue this battle nationwide because we have made tremendous progress over the course of the, the last several years and in large measure that political debate, that education, that changing of the hearts and minds of people is due to the litigation that was fought by the American Foundation of Equal Rights and our office and all the other litigants. So we're very, very gratified with the ruling today. Thanks very much.